Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about the first problem from the latest code forces round 785 problem name, like problem name, subtle substring subtraction. Okay. So the problem statement goes like this. I'll tell you in simple terms. There are two players, Alice and Bob that are playing a game and there are different rounds in that game. Now, what it does that particular game does is that Alice is allowed to remove any substring of even length possibly empty also or whatever substrings Alice want. She can remove out a substring from the given string. So the game starts with a given string. Now Alice can remove any substring of even length. Similarly, Bob can remove any substring from odd length. Now Alice will start first and uh, like they will do this game how many number of times they can. Now in the end, whatever characters they have when they have extracted out the different substrings. So let's say Alice have extracted out an even substring then Bob, then Alice and even Bob and so on. And whatever characters they have extracted out from that particular substring, they will add the characters to their particular value. So A is one, B is two and so on. And whichever has the highest value will be the winner. So you just have to find out who is the winner and when they have won by how much difference they have won by. So let's say that the first player has the score of five and the second player has a score of two. So the first player has won by three marks. So that's the whole thing. You just have to print out that two things. Now, how you can do that? Now, because Alice will start the game first and Alice has the power to take out any substring of evil. Now, because Alice wants to increase or maximize her score, the basic strategy for Alice is to take out like, so let's say if the string is even length, Alice will take out the whole string. Okay. Because she can take out any substring of even length and she can take out the whole string. Okay. And Bob has no string left. So Bob has a score of zero. Alice has all the total string. So the overall difference between Alice and Bob is the overall submission of all the characters and Alice will win. So when will Bob win? So Bob will only win when there is only one character. Let's say that the only character is A. Now Alice will not win in any case because even Alice chances first, Alice can only take out substring of evil length. Now, if there is no even length substring, as you can see that there is only A or any character, let's say only like K, any character. Now, obviously, uh, Bob will only can take out this whole substring because it's of like odd length and Bob will will in that case. Now, in any other case, if the string is of even length, any even length, then obviously Alice will win in any case and the Alice will take all the complete substring. But in an odd length substring, so let's say the string like this, A, B, C, D, E. Now in this case, obviously the first chance is of Alice and Alice can take out any substring of length even. Because it is even substring, it is of continuous length. So obviously Alice will be taking out this sub like any length starting like the complete string. Only one character will be left for Bob because it is of odd length. So only one character will be left and Alice can take out the complete substring. Like apart from one character, Alice can take out the whole substring. Now it is always beneficial because it is an odd length. Alice can either take out a substring like this or a substring like this, any one which is bigger because taking out a smaller substring of even length. So let's say this substring, it is not beneficial because Alice can take out any substring of larger length as well. So Alice can take out any larger length substring. So she can either take this one or this one and among them what Alice will choose because these are common. So she will only decide of like whether the first character is the largest or the last character is the largest. If the first character is the largest, she will take out a substring like this and the last character is left. If the last character is largest, the substring she will take it like this and the first character will be left. In this case, E is larger than A because E has a more higher value or higher score than A. So Alice will take out this substring. And now the difference is that Alice will win and the total difference is the submission of all those characters the value of all submission of all those characters and sub subtract this character value from the total submission and Alice will win. So that's the whole solution for this problem. Nothing much different. I'll take it down to the code part now. So what I've done here is that this is a solve function. Now in the solve function, uh, we have just the first case for Bob win. If n equal to one, then Bob will win. And the answer is that whatever character is there, I'll just type like convert that particular character in the sky value and to subtract a from it so that I will like map a with like a is mapped to one, b is mapped to two. And because this will turn out to be zero, like if I will just take s of like the ith character, like any character subtracted from a, then it will become zero. 
Because, like, so if the first character is A only and this character is A, then it will become zero. But I just want to be a sum of one. So I'll just add one to it. So that's the whole solution for Bob winning case. Else Alice will win. If Alice will win, uh, if the even length is string is there, then Alice will win with the old, like the summation of all the characters taken by Alice and Bob doesn't have any uh, total sum. So the subtraction of both of these differences, the Alice sum minus zero. So the Alice sum is there. So Alice sum is there. I've written on a sum function. Now this sum function, what it will do, it will take a string and like find out the summation of all the characters in the string and just return the total answer. So this function, sum function will take the whole string uh, as an input and just find out the total summation of all the characters and just return the answer. In the other case, uh, else if the length is not even it is odd, there are two cases. The first case can be either will take the first character or the last character, which is the maximum. So in this case, let's say the first character is maximum. So we'll take a substring from zeroth character to the n minus one because we have to take an even length. Okay, and sub so this is the substring we'll take. So in this case, Alice will win, and the total summation of the string that we have is from zero till the n minus one. And the last character we'll typecast it to the again the score because that's the Bob score. We'll just find out the sum like the subtraction of both the score to print out. In the other case, can be if the last character is largest, then we'll take a sub, sub like the substring from the second character to the last character. Okay, and the Bob score will be the first character value only. So the first character value and you subtract off all of them. So that's the whole solution. So that's the whole solution and code part for the first problem. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you next time. Keep coding and bye.